Last time on the search for the next Elvira. Suck it in, bitch. Suck it in. The ladies undressed for success in a titillating shopping spree. 30 minutes to shop and try things on and purchase? Impossible! <laughs> I know, but I like to I think too slutty. Now I know why married men drink. The horror hottie showed off the stage presence in a haunting scream Hi. test. <laughs> Elvira and Judges, multiple Academy Award winning makeup artist Rick Baker, and star of Friday the 13th, Kane Hodder, slice the unlucky 13 down to a sinful 7. And the queen of Halloween made the girls eat one of their own. I'm sorry, Yvette. Rest in peace. <laughs> It's time for the search for the next Elvira. It's simply the most shocking reality show of all time. The sexy six scare it up with a sinister snake. As he's wrapping around my neck, I'm like... Ah. A show so scary, it'll make some people throw up in their mouth. <laughs> Witness how these Elvira wannabes take control on a date from hell. Oh, you do have a big sword. Do you like playing with your saber? Then it's off to Universal Studios Hollywood, where the sexy six will sell their soul. I'm gonna let some lady touch my boob. I oh yes! On the search for the next Elvira. Hello, darling. It's little old me, the gal with a shape that drives the boys ape. Elvira, mistress of the dark. You know I'm looking for the next Elvira, and the competition is steaming up. I've narrowed it down to six sexy sirens who will do anything to be yours cruelly. Tonight's first competition takes the girls to fabulous Universal Studios Hollywood, where they learn a key lesson in being me. I slap my name on anything for a buck. So we've asked my little darlings to hawk my double delicious new coffee on a day that's hot as heck. And I will tell you, it is like trying to sell panties to Britney Spears, okay? Let's see if they have the right kind of product placement for our first challenge, Sell Your Soul. Come on, guys. Hello. Oh, sorry, child in the way, child in the way. The challenge is called Sell Your Soul, <laughs> uh, which I got a lot of people to do. I got a page. I'll just sign your soul right here. I mean, uh, your yeah, email address. Right. Woo! <laughs> I got a little bit on my chest there. Guys always love that, right? And so you have to start running out and talking to people and trying to get them to have a cup of coffee in 100 degree weather. What if I did like a coffee, like, can can for you? Luckily, I found a Chinese couple, so I could pull that one off, you know what I mean? You don't know. Elvira is she? No. You don't know. Mistress of the Dark is Halloween. Oh, wow. It's a Halloween. I've got to tell you, I'm liking the foreign language angle. I think you're doing a really, really good job so Thank far. Thank you. I need your help. It was hotter than tin hells, to put it frankly. Seriously, like I was boiling hot, sweat everywhere. It's the best, I mean, best coffee you'll ever try. Oh, I was so busy in my booth that I have no idea what was going on with the other boobs. I mean, booths. So. <laughs> Everybody has to sign my black book because I need dates. Slow. Not a lot of crowds. Um, but there were, were interested people. Interested males, I would say, of course. Hey. How are you? Good. I think you, uh, you lost your better half. Well, I could be your new better half. And then I think I took that I sold my soul a little bit too too far because I let some lady touch my boob. I, oh, <laughs> yes. And and I think uh, Potter should kind of got mad at me, but he was just like, listen, Elvira is not going to let anybody touch her boob. You trade you a picture for your phone numbers? Yes, please. Oh, please, you like that? Okay. And then you give me your number, right? Oh, I'll give you, you better give me your number. <laughs> That's the next one. Next up, I'm right here. If anybody call a problem here, you let me know. I'll be the next practice tonight. Who wants some pumpkin spice? Every day I'm hustling just a little bit more. 
help me judge, I've resurrected Kane Hodder, best known as Jason Voorhees. Six-time Academy Award winner, Rick Baker. No one in the world knows more about makeup, except me. Plus, Man Virus, Christian, and Patterson. All right, guys, starting at the coffee score. Now, um, okay, let's see, Patterson, uh, I know you were there with them, so uh, you have a little insight into what All in all, like. out at the top of them all, that just seemed to never run out of lines when that had been April. She was, she was in character constantly. April seems to be the front runner for me, uh, just consistently good. April, and, oh my God, April was so funny. She was uh, just out there selling it, you know. Uh, uh, she, was, she had no shame at all. Uh, below April, it was running on a three-way between, <laughs> yeah, between Jenny and uh, uh, Jelena and Bridget. Jen blew me away this time. As far as collecting hilarious. the numbers and the emails or email addresses, Jelena just. Oh yeah, she blew everybody away. She got the most. Uh, Jelena got the highest. Knew they were afraid that she would bite them. And don't care if he ate my guts. Don't care if he shoot me. Don't give a. <laughs> I didn't like Bridget this time around. It's just like, oh my God, I've got huge. <laughs> by my coffee. I'm on Playboy. Well, the thing I like about Bridget, though, is that is uh, she seems like she has no morals, which is a very uh, similar thing to me. Well, I was uh, say, that's a that's a plus. But again, I still am not feeling Elvira from any of them. Like I I'm going to echo his sentiments about uh, Elvira. The, I, I I'm still waiting to see Elvira from any of them. However, in terms of uh, coming the closest, I, I think it's sort of unanimous that April has done the best, shine the brightest. Now, don't touch that dial. If you act right now, you'll also receive a challenge of unbelievable horror. A date with a reality TV star. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Woo! Oh, God, I love Elvira tricks. Things go bump in the night as our Elvira oh, no. wannabes go on a date from hell. My mother's calling me. Uh, no. And later, the sexy six strut their uh, stuff on Elvira's casting so couch. My was like... Like, going all crazy, and I was like, <laughs> when the search for the next Elvira continues. <laughs> Welcome back, darlings. You know, there is nothing creepier than being on a blind date. Except, of course, being on a blind date with a reality TV star. Let's see if the girls are bugged by this little challenge. I like to call it Bump in the Night. So, we just did this challenge. It was called Bump in the Night. And it was this secret blind date that we had to go on. And the guy that I went on a date with, his name is Howie. And he's from Big Brother. Gosh, Howie. I love you. And it was really hard for me because I have not been on a date in like five and a half years. I've been with Hef this whole time, so no dates. It was hard. So what do you do? Oh, I'm uh, well, I I, I, I sell swords for a living. I used to. Swords. Yeah, I, I sell. I'll get so into that. So you like big bit. sticks? I love big. You like big sticks? I love big sticks. What's wrong? You're Elvira. You're being flirtatious. You. This is your date. You're taking control of this conversation. You're dominating. So I just kept pulling them back in. I'm like one with the Jedi. You know, we talked earlier about swords and everything yeah, else. Yeah, tell me. I like to practice the Jedi art. Oh, big you stick. do have a big sword. Do you like playing with your saber? Oh gosh, I mean, I love playing it, but with it by myself. I love being out, you know, playing with my stick with you know other people having uh -huh. fights. Do you let other people play with it? I prefer to have other people play with the stick. Really? It's, yeah, it's, so I might even be able to play with your stick later. You know, breeding the Elvira Jedi population, I think that's a positive thing wow. for, for Earth, for Pluto, for Mars, whoa, for the universe. Whoa, 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 you're already talking about breeding? Back it up, buddy, this is a first date. <laughs> Who's talking about breeding? I was talking about your stick. Honey, I'm sold. Let's go back to my dungeon for a nightcap and demonstrate your lightsaber. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Woo! Oh, God, I love Elvira chicks. Hef, honey, I'm really sorry about the date. I had no choice, and you know I'd do anything to be the next Elvira. So, what's your name? I'm BJ. BJ? Nice to meet you. I'm Kitty. What does BJ stand for? Big joystick or something? <laughs> Um, no. I do have a big joystick. Uh, I went on a date with BJ uh, from The Amazing Race, and I, I didn't know anything about him going into it. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> he looks kind of like a wolf man. Are you First ready piece. to order? 
Oh, um, I would uh, suggest well, the crickets or the scorpions. I would say the uh, scorpions. Of I guess I'll try the crickets then. Certainly. It was a tough challenge for me. <laughs> and and the, the food that was served was pretty shocking. Scorpion for that. Oh, beautiful. I think they're they're very low carb. Are they? Oh, great. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Wow, they're gorgeous. Scorpion. Are you really going to eat this? Sure, if you oh, really great. eat this. Um, I, I thought he was kidding, and then I realized, oh my god, I'm supposed to eat this cricket. And uh, I'm glad they had it seasoned. I I'm just kidding. In there. <laughs> Cheers. <It's> spicy. <laughs> Wine helps the food better. I, I still can't believe I ate it. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Yeah. So I guess I'll just uh, go howl at the moon. And you are? I am. Your name? I'm Richard. So are you a dick then? As in Richard? I am not a dick. Definitely not what I would call romantic, per se. Richard is interesting. He's, you know, men with uh, nosy mothers. Is that a Star Trek community? No, no, no. My mother's calling me. Uh, no. Mom? No, 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 mom, I'm on a date. No, 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 no. No, she's not Jewish. Oh. Hi, mom. Richard's a little tied up at the moment. Yes. Okay, well, we'll talk to you later. Ah! What are you doing? No, 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 no! His mother calls during a date, and who answers their mother's phone call during a date? All right, Richard, so what do you do for fun? I like to get down and diggy with it. Oh yeah, he was super cavalier. I like a little hubba hubba. A little hubba hubba, huh? A little take me back and uh, for some sweet screams. Yes. He, you know, thought that he had it all, and obviously, he didn't. So, what's after dinner? Sex. Sex? Just like that? Well, you've stayed here this long, mm. and you haven't left. Jeeves has served up <laughs> and neither of us is eating it, so why don't we... All right, let's go. Well, Richard, maybe I'll see you around at, uh, you know, the cemetery after I drank a bucket of cyanide. These girls better not try to worm their way out of this. There's another creepy course when we return. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. <laughs> I guess I made him want to play with his big light. Sticks. <laughs> Love heats up on the dates from hell. Uh, with the mama tomato say to the uh, baby ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. <gasps> oh, you know that joke. Ah, ah, oh. When the search for the next Elvira continues. Welcome back, my little horror harlots. Our gals are on a date from hell. I mean, I don't know which is the bigger pest, the guys or the food. Hope my girls know how to keep both of them out of their hair. Dear gosh, thank the maker. Oh my dear gosh. Okay, well I walk up and Howie, I think, was a bit sprung. <laughs> Overwhelmed maybe by my outfit. So oh. you can pull out my chair? Oh, I'm sorry, I was just about to get to do that. Yeah, I think you read my mind. Yeah. Like... This is kind of Princess Lei, kind of when she's chained up with uh, Jabba the Hutt. So I think he was probably like, ding, 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 and she was light, there was like, boom. Uh, what do you feel, how do you feel about the Jedi way? I love the Jedi way. I love ooh, the long really? lightsaber. <laughs> so I guess I made him want to play with his big lightsaber sticks. <laughs> yeah. It was nice to meet you. You too. Thank you very much. Oh wow. Thank you. <laughs> uh, is, it, is the restaurant still open? Oh gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I only kind of sort of knew who this guy was. I don't watch that show that much. Um, he was really hairy. Can I ask what BJ stands for? Because I think uh, only one thing when I hear that. Bon Jovi. <laughs> yeah, I started good. And my jokes that I had in my head, I kind of blew all out at the first round. <laughs> it's hard to swallow them. You just keep, keep chewing. 
I've had a hard time out. swallowing myself sometimes, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> he was funny. Um, some guys like to give girls a different type of necklace at the end of a date, but I went ahead and went with the millipede necklace. Ooh, how does it look? I can never figure out how to get these things right. clasped on. Whoops, Whoa. I dropped it. Oh, dear. Um, it dropped a little bit in my, in my cleavage, but uh, I'm used to things dropping in there all the time. Cool. Wow. You want food? No. Oh, come on. I actually had some already. You guys gonna even get a winner from Beauty and the Geek? Really? Wow. Ah, ah, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah. Well, this date's going well. He uh, he looked down, got surprised, and like flew the table up at me. My goodness, man. I'm Calm sorry. down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. No, no, no. Don't help. Sit. Please, it'll Sit. be my honor. Down. Now. So, yeah, I think I have some wine stains and stuff, which is going to look awesome for the rest of this competition. My this ardor knows no bounds for you, my little matzo ball. Matzo ball. Matzo balls. Oh, you got some nice matzo balls. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I got some nice matzo balls. Oh, I bet you do. When was the last time I saw the light of day? They saw the light of day. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think uh, this ever. Good. Yeah, that uh, that whole thing was just awkward upon awkward upon awkward. This was a lovely date. Nice try. What's the term? Um, hell no. Oh wow. That was a challenge, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, the date's from hell. I liked April and Bridget. Uh, the other girls just, they kind of fell flat. Fell so flat, that's the worst thing you can do as Elvira. I, I kind of agree. I, as far as the girls taking charge, Bridget and April, and I think Miss Monster did the best job of actually taking charge. I completely agree. Bridget and April, by far the best. Jelena was up there for me. Um, as far as the guys, the dates, a couple of them, I'd like to punch them in their face, but just that's just me, I, you know. Well, I was probably the most let down by um, Jelena. Uh, Jelena was, I mean, she's a pretty girl, but she did a lot of just smiling and staring and giggling, and the kissing was just way too much. I'd have to say I think Jelena, Jelena this time around, was the weakest uh, she's been through the whole thing. I ask the girls to be funny, fabulous, and focused as they intro a horror classic and claim the title Queen of Camp. Oh, and I hope they don't mind the little slight distraction we've placed upon them. Well, um, all along I was thinking about how I was going to be sitting on the couch and how I was going to use my hands for gesturing and all kinds of cutesy little effects. And then just before we were about to go on, Patterson came out and he said, Oh yeah, that's right. You're going to be doing this with a snake. Hello, darling. Come in, come in. Entree vous if you catch my drift. It's me again, that TV beauty with the cute little booty. You know, laying eyes on you always gets me so excited. And from the looks of things, I guess the same could be said for you. Hey, why don't you just take a load off that little old mind of yours and have a seat right over there? Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Just a little practical joke to keep you on your toes. Tonight, my celluloid torture here on Movie Macabre is a little piece of fluff called The House That Screamed. Ah! It's the story of a guy selling track homes out in the San Fernando Valley. I've been boning up on my real estate material. Why, I'm just so full of it. Without further ado, or without further ado, let's get this show into escrow. The House That Screamed, coming up on good old Movie Macabre. I was happy about Bridget because, you know, she was a bunny, and it was a good thing she didn't get eaten by the snake. No. <laughs> there was no pause. She didn't even yeah, stop to take a breath. She yeah. threw every line away. Hello, darling. It's little old me, that gal with a wiggle that makes the boys giggle, Elvira, mistress of the dark. You know, choosing movies every week for movie macabre ain't just a matter of sifting through a few film cans to pick what's worse. I mean, what works. No, it's not quite that easy. Sometimes I spend hours doing it. Then, on the other hand, sometimes I spend hours doing my nails, so I guess it all comes out in the wash. Okie dokie, just a little insight there into what it's really like to be Mistress of the Dark. 
Right now, it's showtime, and I'll just have to schlep my cans up to the projection booth, more Mistress of the Dark work, and uh, we'll have this sucker all up and running and ready to go. What's it called again? Oh yeah, it's called, uh, well, why not let it just be a surprise? Unpleasant dreams. Yeah, I usually like all of this scary, creepy stuff, and the snake kind of threw me off. I gotta tell you, it was really tight. Um, the scales really hurt, you know? Okay, that wasn't working for me, Miss Monsters. She's just expressionless. What's wrong with that? She's Eastern German hooker, just, I will break your back for free. <laughs> Well, it looks like Chocolate the Snake is keeping our girls on their toes. Let's see them try to slither their way out of this when we return. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Little old me, the gal who put the boob back in the boob tube. Things get even more campy in the Queen of Camp Test. I was like, oh, I like snakes in no a problem. I'm like a little snake charmer, you know what I'm saying? And later, the judges slice the girls in half. <laughs> Not literally. The competition gets trimmed from the sexy six to the final three. When we continue the search for the next Elvira. Oh, hello there. Welcome back to the search for the next Elvira. Well, it's starting to get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, starting to send shivers up your, well, let's just say it's sending shivers. The next challenge is called the Queen of Camp. Each of the remaining contestants must introduce a classic horror film, a ghoulish goulash, just like two of my latest DVDs being released by Shout Factory. See, both are double features. The House That Screamed, plus Maneater of Hydra, and Monstroid, plus Blue Sunshine. All movie Mac biggies. Well, it's the big finito, the exciting conclusion. What I'm saying is it's time for these ladies to step up to the couch. Hello, darling. Yes, sir, it's little me, that devil may care, quipstress of the air, Elvira, mistress of the dark. The show, as you know, is movie macabre. And once again, it's time to set sail for adventure in the South Seas. Yes, it's off to Blood Island for the oh positive time of your life. <laughs> Let me tell you about the movie. It's something called Beast of the Dead. And it's all about this, uh, well, this beast. And he's like, like, dead. Well. Maybe he ain't exactly dead, but close enough so as you wouldn't know the difference. So I like my last boyfriend. <laughs> so anyway, you got this beast, and he's, he's, I guess when it comes to the story, you're on your own. Unpleasant dreams. Okay, so that was Sandra Bernhardt hosting Movie Macabre. Oh, oh. oh. Sandra. You, don't, you didn't see that at all? <laughs> well, she does have a little, just her lip shape. I mean, and that oh. gap in her tooth is bothering me now. <laughs> There's always dentures, like <laughs> Patterson. my dental plate. I don't wear dentures as a dental plate. You wear dentures. No. You got them all pulled out so you could be better at, you know. Oh. <sighs> Hello, darling. It's a little old me. The gal who put the boob back in the boob tube. Elvira, mistress of the dark. Uh... Hello? I'm up here. I'm up here. Okay, let's talk movie macabre. Though. This time around, we're serving up a little treat called Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hype. I think it's like a rip-off. Uh, I mean, I think it's like an adaptation. Yeah, sorry, adaptation. <laughs> of a classic story with a similar title. Heck of it is, I'm trying to remember what that classic story is. Anyway, no matter. I'm sure it'll come to me sooner or later. Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hyde, another movie Mac winner, coming your way right now. Hmm. Everybody's disappointing me today. Mm. And this is where I thought they were going to kick ass. She has a good look, though. <laughs> yeah. She oh, does have a fantastic look. look. I think she great. looks really, really cool. She very peaks and valleys with her delivery. She was up and down, and she was very animated in the face. What she couldn't do with her arms, she did with her face. Hello, darling. It's little old mom. That gal with the smile that does it with style, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. The show, as you know, is Movie Macabre, a.k.a. one last chance to get a little mileage out of that bunch of silly white turkeys, huh? <laughs> and I'm just a gal who can't say no. Well, actually, I did say no once, but only when someone had asked me if I'd ever said no before. <laughs> so, how do you like the dress? Yeah, I know. <laughs> kind of defies gravity, doesn't it? I like to dress to impress, and believe me, this dress leaves an impression on everybody. Especially me. Ouch. <laughs> uh, 
Well, if this dress doesn't drive you crazy, then tonight's movie will. It's called The Incredible Two-Headed Tran I mean, uh, Transplant, and it's all about, well, you'll figure it out. I'll see you at intermission, darling. Bella, 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 little attitude, girl got it going on. She does, and she seems to really shine in this. I mean, she definitely has uh, got some of the highest scores on my, my list anyways. I haven't found a, a category to score her low in at all. I just wish these girls would enjoy it and not rush it. Hello, darling. It's me, the gal on the couch who ain't no slouch, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. The name of the show, as I'm sure you all know, is Movie Macabre. It's a, a ghoulish goulash, spiced to perfection by yours cruelly. It's time to open up the vault and reel out another clunker for your viewing displeasure. This one is called In of the Damned. Oh, uh, I mean darned. In of the Darned. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not the plot, that's for sure. We're taking you down under to the outback. Or is it out back to the down under? Well, no matter. What I'm talking about, of course, is that land of koalas and kangaroos a playing with your didgeridoo till your hands turn blue. Australia, it's another movie in the biggie, and it's coming right up. Unpleasant dreams. That's what happens when you don't, you, when you're not a professional teleprompter reader like myself. <laughs> Well, now we get a chance to see how the girls do under pressure. I don't know why they were so nervous. I mean, chocolate melts in your mouth, not your hand. Stick around. There's more belly crawling when we get back. No, not from the snake, silly. From the girls. Coming up next on the search for the next Elvira. Hello, Helga. What now? Discover who survives the final elimination. April's too chunky and not elegant and sexy enough. If that's the truth, and you guys can see that. We'll announce the final three next on the search for the next Elvira. Well, hello there, you wicked weirdos. It's time for our sexy sextet to be split down the middle as our judges pick the final three girls that will make it to the finale on Halloween night in front of a live audience. Through all of the trials and tribulations, I have really grown fond of these girls. But there is no room in my army of the night for so, so, so. Three girls gotta go. All righty, gals. Today is Judgment Day. As you know, there are six of you, and only three can go to the final round. You all have a little bit of Elvira happening. You definitely do. You all look really good. I, I advise you all to stay out of the way of my car when I'm leaving today, because I don't need no more competition. Um, but we have to pick three. And so what I'm going to do right now is pair you off we're going to stand over here and we're going to make our decision. Kitty and Jenny, stand over here to my left. Okay, they lined us all up and they paired us into twos, into three groups. Well, Ms. Monster, you were in very good control on your date. My mother's calling me. Uh, no. No, no, no. I'm on a date. No! What are you doing? No, 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 no! But I have to say, This is not over. I had a blast. I had so much fun. And I'm so glad that Elvira did this um, and had this TV show. And it's been wonderful to meet the girls, to hang out with people that love horror and gore and creepy crawlies and Halloween. And yeah, I'm really glad that I got to be here and be a part of it all. Oh, OK, Jelena, how are you feeling? Great. <laughs> yeah, well, you definitely filled out your lingerie. You, you got that part of it down, girl. That's for sure. And you've also got a smile as big as your eyes, which is really going to come in, in handy. <sighs> Selena? If she reached for the lever and my face was like, she's going to make a joke. She's going to be her funny self. Rest in... I was just like, a holy. Hello, Helga. 
What now? Can't you see I'm having my quality time? Can't do anything around here. All I have to do is walk, 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 walk. Hi, my, my. We have a short temper, don't we? Listen, why don't you just kiss my ass? I quit. I think this job may just be a little over her head. Ha! <gasps> okay, girls. Kitty. You know, out there in the hot desert sun at Universal, the people really loved you. We trade you a picture for your phone numbers, and then you give me your number, right? Uh, I'll give you, you better give me your number. There's a fire right here. And you really have a great look. I think you have a great goth look. Uh, and Jenny, you did a good monologue. It's time to open the vault and reel out another clunker for your viewing displeasure. This one is called In of the Damned. Oh, I mean darned. In of the Darned. Uh, your date was a little rough. May I ask what BJ stands for? Because I think uh, only one thing when I hear that. Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> I think the guy was kind of taking control, and Elvira never, ever lets the guy do that. But you really kind of redeemed yourself there with the coffee. You do not know Elvira is she? No. You do not know. She is the mistress of the dark. She is the Halloween. Oh, my Halloween. Speak in Mandarin and everything, which I do, but I, I just didn't want to show off. <laughs> Girls. The nightmare continues for you both. <laughs> okay, back to your original positions, okay? Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank you. welcome. Okay, girls. April, you uh, did a great monologue. Well, <laughs> if this dress doesn't drive you crazy, then tonight's movie will. It's called The Incredible Two-Headed Tranny, I mean, uh, Transplant. <laughs> and it's all about, well, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll see you at intermission, darling. I loved how you controlled your date. My goodness, man, I'm calm sorry. down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. No, 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 don't help. Sit. Please, it'll Sit. be my honor. Down. Now. That was very Elvira. And Bridget, obviously, you are a pro. You're funny. You're cute. You, you actually ought to think about a career in showbiz. <laughs> because, uh, really, you were, you were really good. Keep that in mind. But, as you know, girls, one of you has got to go. All righty. Bridget? You have been found guilty of being a blonde. Rest in peace. That was it for me, even though I'm growing black. It's just from being here, it must be the water. It's just like crazy stuff around here. April? You're in the top three. Your nightmare continues! Yes. Howdy, horror hounds. Well, we cut the competition in half, and now it's time for the girls to throw dignity out the door. Oh, yeah, and they should uh, probably beg to stay in the competition, too. Rack them! Hello, darlings. It's yours cruelly, Elvira. I mean, April. <laughs> and I want you to vote for me on Search for the Next Elvira. I swear as the next Elvira that I will uphold the same level of tacky puns and low-grade horror that we have come to know and love over the last millennia. I mean, years. <laughs> I will do what it takes to uphold the name Elvira. I will bust, I mean, bust the competition and lay them six feet under. I'll bend over backwards. I'll bend over forwards to be your next mistress of the dark. <laughs> I promise to bust out titillating performances and more cheese in a Velveeta factory. I'll give those teen scream queens a run for their lives. I'm loud and tacky and a little bit sassy. So make the right choice and make my nightmares come true and vote me as the next queen of Halloween. Until next time, boys and ghouls, unpleasant dreams. Hello, darling. Kitty Corvette here, reminding you to do your patriotic duty to cast your vote. For the next Elvira, that is. Now, you know, Elvira has an awfully big bra, uh, shoes to fill, 
and I know just the gal for the job. Me. <laughs> for your vote, I'd bend over backward, I'd bend over forward, why I'd stand on my head and eat a bug. And you know I would too. So come on, America. You know you're just dying to elect this vamp, the gal with extra sass, class, charm, and plenty of sex appeal. So pick up that phone now and cast that vote for the one and only Kitty Corvette. I need your immoral support. Unpleasant dreams. Well, it's election time again. No, not that one. Even though there's a lot of boobs running for both. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about a time to pick someone who will try to be an equal to the position of sequel to that little lady who's always on top, the queenie of Halloweeny, Elvira, mistress of the dark. You know, some people have a really hard time. Uh, <laughs> with elections, that is. Sometimes you just need someone to give you a helping hand. Someone who can start you up and get you going. Voila, here I am, Jenny. Ready, willing, and dying to cater to all your search for the next Elvira election needs. After torturous training, I've learned how to eat your young, sell your soul, and go bump in the night. So why don't you pick me, instead of your boogers, as the next Elvira? Well, the only thing better than a heartfelt plea is immediately ripping that heart out. And speaking of bleeding hearts, my three little dumplings are going to have theirs in their throats as they tremble with anticipation for the final showdown. That's when you, yeah, I am talking to you, America, will pick the next Elvira. On the next search for the next Elvira. I keep like looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, I look like Cassandra Peterson. This is freaking me out. It's down to the final three. This is what I really wanted. I was so hoping to be here today and I'm still in shock. Get up close and personal with each of the finalists. I can't even believe it. I cannot believe it. I didn't think I'd make it this far at all. America will choose which one will be crowned the winner. Will it be April, Kitty, or Jenny? Find out on Halloween night with the queen of Halloween. It's the finale of The Search for the Next Elvira. Well, my little fans of fear, looks like I squeezed about as much life out of that hour as I could. And, ew, it's like all over the floor. Um, could we get somebody in here with a mop? Um, but you know, seeing those gals dressed up as me made me realize something. I had no idea I was so hot. Damn, have I got a good bot or what? <laughs> oh, and don't forget to check out my great big ending <laughs> to the um, competition in front of a live audience on Halloween night. That's when we'll see who America has chosen to be the next Elvira. So get out there, you people, and vote till all heck breaks loose. Till then, darling, unpleasant dreams.